Ayan. So, kajot lang yun. Wala na ako na-mention sa HCG uh, when it comes to ectopic pregnancy. Ayan. So, ectopic pregnancy, the ideas, yes, HSG, uh, HSG, HCG or human cryonic gonadotropin if this appears from blood uh, from 1 to 31 days after removal of the ectopic pregnancy. When you say ectopic pregnancy, di ba, it's usually pregnancy outside of the uterus. So, possibly nasa fallopian tube na hitabo ang fertilization and dito nag-grow ang bata. And that, of course, it's not conducive for the baby or for the embryo to grow. So, that's ectopic pregnancy. HCG will still increase, all right? Pero mo disappear siya after mawala tong uh, developing embryo and it's a uh, mean day or a median niya is about 8.5 days. All right? So again, ako lang i-post sa yung soul uh, account tonight. So that's lang that's just for ano lang for um H, uh, for amniotic. All right. Kutasan ko. Okay. Next, we'll go now to your um uh, sputum and bowel. Bronchoalveolar. All right. Right. <laughs> okay, kajot lang jud sputum and bal 15 slides no kaya rin. All right. Now for sputum, bal and sweat, kato rin siyang mga additional dears. Uh, I think wala may sweat pero ato lang include kay short ra kayong sweat. So again, sputum, bronchio bronchoalveolar lavage, these are all secretions of the lower respiratory tract. Okay. So what is sputum? Again, it's usually a combination of secretions from the upper and lower respiratory tract. All right. And these are tracheobronchial secretions. So it's a mixture of plasma electrolytes, mucin, and water. Um, aside from that, of course, cellular ex exfoliations, uh, nasal from the nose and salivary gland secretions, and of course, the normal oral flora. Now, how, when do you consider it a sputum? Of course, if less than ra ang squamous epithelial cells, less than 10, and greater than ang PMNs. Because remember that your sputum comes from the lower respiratory tract, okay? And this indicates usually um, an infect in infection process or an INI condition. So therefore, mas dapat daghang WBCs compared to your epithelial cells. Because the presence of more uh, epithelial cells compared to your WBCs indicates that diri siya sputum. Probably nara siya sa saliva. No? Salivary lang siya. Okay? Nara sa mouth beacon. All right? What we want is the lower, no? lower respiratory tract uh, na specimen. Now, sputum preservation, as you can see, you can preserve it um, uh, through refrigeration or printing formally. All right? And... Um, for methods of collection, you have number one, first morning is the most preferred, yes, uh, because it's the most concentrated. 24 hour is for volume measurement. Throat swab for pediatric patients, uh, because of course, kung babies or mga bata medyo maglisod or dili pa kabalong sa on, no, pag collect. Sputum induction is for non cooperative patients. And tracheal aspiration is for debilitated patients. True enough, um, this is very common. Uh, this is a routine specimen na makuha juni mo dears or ma-receive usually if naka sa micro. Dito na ko siya makuha for culture. Uh, usually, ano na siya? Tax, no? T-A-C-S. Tracheal aspirate culture sensitivity or na yuba na ETA endotracheal aspirate. No? So, very, ano na siya dears? Very, um, ang fluid, uh, ang, ang sputum gud siya, it's very thick and viscous. Grabe. Kana siyang tracheal aspirate as in like, if imar siyang anao nung loop kay, disud siya ibungkag kay Thick you guys, uh, very mucoid as in like yeah, yellow pag yun, no? So uh, that is an a tracheal aspirate. So it's really representative sa lower respiratory tract. Okay, now for sputum, atong kailangan are the uh, macroscopic uh, examination. Ayan. So for volume, if in, if decrease on volume, it's seen in different diseases um, such as asthma, all right, bronchitis, uh, early pneumonia, and... And stage of healing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Scanty ang amount, meaning gamay. All right? <laughs> Kung taas ang volume, it's usually seen in bron bronchiectasis. Okay. Mag-mute sa ako ha. Kinsa may ano. All right. <laughs> Kuya, ano mo tayo? Gipahilom ko. Tsaka, tsaka lang. So, <laughs> bronchiectasis. When you say bronchiectasis, it's a chronic inflammation and infection of the uh, bronchial tree. Okay. And usually, na hardening na mahitabo. No mugahi because of inflammation and infection. Uh, again, increase po sa in lung abscess, edema, gangrene, TB, and pulmonary hemorrhage. So, all of these diseases usually na fluid build up, na ay murag, uh, na fluid na secretions. All right? So, large volume. For odor, uh, normal is odorless. Foul or putrid, it's indicative of gangrene and tumors. Sweetish, bronchiectasis, TB. Cheesy, <laughs> cheesy, yes. Uh, it smells like cheese, no necrosis, tumors, and empyema. And fecal, kung liver abscess, and enteric gram neg bacterial infection. All right, so that's for odor of sputum. For color, as you can see, um, ito lang ipang-emphasize, dears. Gray, 
Um, or uh, white or yellow, of course, is pus and epithelial cells. Normal is, of course, colorless. Bright green or greenish, bile, if naa, and of course, infection with pseudomonas, all right? And lung abscess. Red or bright red, of course, presence of blood, fresh blood or hemorrhage, of course, TB, no, bloody imuhang, uh, sputum, and bronchiectasis. Anchovy sauce or rusty brown, all right? Old blood, pneumonia, and also gangrene. Prune juice, so medyo greenish ang appearance, no? Uh, pneumonia and chronic lung cancer. Olive green or grass green cancer. Rusty, nga ko alam nyo na yarn, basta rusty with pus, you have low bar pneumonia. And rusty without pus, congest congestive heart failure. And currant jelly-like, na murag um, jelly ace, you have Klebschella pneumoniae. Again, kinsa gani nakakos anang low bar pneumonia. Oh, gas, gas na gas, gas. Palit ulit na lang. <laughs> kinsa man yung low bar? Na na rust pneumonia. pneumonia. Very good. Streptococcus pneumonia. Dapat preso buzzer na. Alright. Now, for consistency, mucoid is asthma and bronchitis. Cirrus or frothy lung edema and mucopurulent, you have bronchiectasis and TB with cavities. All right, so that's for macroscopic. Now, we're going to microscopic structures found in your sputum. All right, we'll start first with Dittrich plugs, okay? So these Dittrich plugs are usually more like pinhead ang appearance. And then if you siyang i-crush, it smells like... Uh, Baho, baho siya. Okay, pag imo siyang i-crush. Alright? Uh, ang kaning mga structures na inani. And asa siya makita, very important, sa bronchial asthma. So take note later, atong i-summarize ka itong mga microscopic structures na makita sa mga asthmatic na mga sputum. Alright? Okay, like me, no? Mga asthma dyan, asthmatic, laban lang tadira. Okay? Now, um, your Dittrich plugs were considered to be first before as an early indicator of TB. No? Pero karoon, wala na siya gi-consider. No? So, because there are other signs uh, sa TB na mas specific. Okay? You have the lung stones or pneumolips or broncholips. No? These are hard concretions of bron bronchi or sa bronchos. All right? Uh, yellow or white calcified TB na mga structures or foreign material. All right? So calcified structures. So asa siya common sa histoplasmosis, uh, most common, and chronic TB. Bronchial casts, these are casts that takes into the shape of the bronchial tree. No? So uh, mga night picture later. All right? And it's usually used or it's usually seen in low bar pneumonia, bronchitis, and diphtheria. All right? Now layer formation of your sputum, if ang first layer kay uh, mu forms of different layers. Yung first layer kay frothy mucus. Ang second layer consists of opaque water material and the third consists of pus bacteria and tissues. The significance is bronchiectasis, lung abscess, and gangrene. And for foreign bodies, especially if maka-inhale mo og mga chemicals such as asbestos and mga silica, all right, uh, it can cause bronchial calculi and asbestos bodies and silica particles. Again, this is seen in pneumoconiosis. So basically, same siya. Uh, it pares anang the longest word in the dictionary, ba? Numono ultra microscopic silicon of volcanic neosis. That's the longest voice, a uh, longest voice, longest word in the dictionary. So that's a type of uh, pneumoconiosis. So naka inhale ka. Usually, ang nu ang sa to numono microscopic ato. It's uh, about inhaling rug sawdust, if I'm not mistaken. That's the longest word in the dictionary. Okay, as far as I know, pa basi na change na karon lao kabalo. All right. Okay. <laughs> um. Dili lang ko mag-spell. Okay. Uh, so, ngayon ito, numo, no, uh, numo, uh, nalimot na ko. Nalimot ako sa kong dimension. But anyway, ayan. <laughs> Taas kayo siya na word. But again, it's mo, it's mostly about inhaling silica particles, matingal ito, or sawdust, from sawdust, if I'm not mistaken. Alright? Ayan. So, parehas, Anna, no, once you inhale foreign bodies, of course, they may form uh, mga microscopic structures when you examine sputum. Another one is, of course, your, um, uh, here, pictures. Ayan. This is the pneumolith. Ayan, mura siya og um, stone, of course. And this is the bronchial cast. As you can see, no, uh, it's parang taking into, into the shape of your um, bronchus, bronchi. It's not the bronchi mismo, but it's a cast, no? <laughs> so, kanin siya, it, it, it's usually the patient will cough it up, no? Yang iubo, pag tang-tang niya, kailan na yung nakita na cast, inana, no? Uh, so, it's usually seen again mga pneumonia, alright? And um, I'm not sure kung sa yung material, but may, uh, basically, mga calcified, ano ragya po na siya, sa imuhang bronchial tree because of infection. Alright. Next, you have, of course, the other microscopic structures. You have elastic fibers uh, seen in tuberculosis. charcoal laden crystals, of course, alam yun na yarn. Uh, most significant, of course, they will appear as crystals, hexagonal. 
uh, usually seen in bronchial asthma. Pigmented cells are uh, in heart failure cells, na hemosiderin laden macrophages, and carbon laden cells, you have angular black granules. So again, significance, congestive heart failure and heavy smokers. Kirschman spirals, na very important. Dears, no, these are coiled mucous strands, uh, whitish or yellow, frequently coiled into little balls and can also be observed macroscopically. Asa uh, Japan makitan, bronchial asthma. So ito na siyang summarize later. Myelin globules, ayan, very important dears. Kani, it's a recall sa boards, ayan. Um, Regular siya ni gawa sa amu. Ah. Basta myelin globules, ganit dears, wala siya significance. Pero, kung sa iyahang kailangan i-remember ni mo, it may resemble blastomyces. Oh my God, my God. Basta myelin globules, myelin globules, wala siya significance. Pero, it may resemble blastomyces. I hope muni siya mo gawa sa inyong exam. Okay? I really hope na muni mo gawa. Alright? Because this was, um, this was found by the, or di kanin siya sa old edition na sa Henry's, mga 16th, 17th edition, or 15th yata. So, karon is 23rd, at uh, 22nd, 23rd na di ay. No, 23rd edition na sa Henry. So, grabe na no. So, tikuha gya po ng board of examiners dito. So, Please take note, basta myelin globules sa sputum, wala siya significance. But you need to remember that it may resemble kinsa blastomyces. Okay, take note of that. Of course, fungi, uh, where, uh, epithelial cells pa pala, criolla bodies, clusters of columnar cells, ah, sa Japan makitan, bronchial asthma. Na, hmm, dami na talaga ng bronchial asthma. Ito na siyang i summarize later. Fungi, again, of course, uh, the different fungi, especially mga systemic uh, uh, mycosis or mycotic na mga pathogens, of course, they start from inhalation. So therefore, um, makuha siya sa lungs. So of course, you have histoplasma, parahoxidioides, coxidioides, cryptococcus, no? blastomyces, histoplasma. All right? For parasites, of course, na gas, gas na gas, gas, migrating larva, alam nyo na yan. Sa itong mnemonic, ash, di ba? Ascaris, strongy, and hookworm. Sana na-remember pa to, okay? And of course, entamiba histolytica in cases of pulmonary amoebic abscess, nabot siya sa lungs. Uh, e. gingivalis, T. tenax, of course, uh, common, commensal sa imuhang mouth. Paragonimus westermani, of course, the ova, di ba? Remember, on sa ganitong characteristic sputum sa patients na IP westermani. If naayahang eggs, it's described as, on say appearance, you have, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> nalimta na, yes, di ba? You have, on say makita sa sputo, it's macroscopic, you describe as having a, <laughs> oh my God, and there was silence. On <laughs> say appearance, it, the eye, murag. Yes, iron thingy, iron fillings, ayan, iron fillings sa imuhang sputum. And those are the eggs of Paragonimus westermani. Because remember, Paragonimus westermani is the oriental lung fluke. So therefore, makita siya sa imuhang sputum. Alright, and of course, Echinococcus granulosus and uh, Toxocaracanis, so mga systemic na parasites. And others, of course, neoplastic cells, bacteria, and leukocytes, especially in cases of mga cancers no, and all that. Now, for chemical examination, it's not necessary na good um, in diagnosis for sputum because, again, it, it is of little importance. All right. So, pictures. Ayan. So, dears, kanin, kanin Kirschman spirals. Nakita na ko niya sa MedTech's lounge. So, actually, wala pa siya na-confirm if Kirschman spirals siya. Pero na MedTech dito na nagpa-ask. Ayan. So, gi-ask daw sputum sample, then unsa daw na siya. So, of course, paglanta po na ako, I thought Kirschman spirals. And I think it is Kirschman spirals. That is not a bacteria, dears. Mura siya spirochit no, pero wala yung spirochit na yun na nakataas. Taas na kaayo. So, most likely, that is Kirschman spirals. Okay? So, gika niya sa MedTech's Lounge na no, Facebook page. And then, here is your myelin globules. As you can see, mura siya o blastomyces. If you can remember, blastomyces na siya ay uh, uh, thick na base. Ayan. Thick na base and narrow na neck. Ayan. So, mura siya o blastomyces. Again, myelin globules. Wala siya importance, pero what you have to remember, again, it can resemble blastomyces. Oh my God, very important. And ayan na, mga microscopic structures for patients with bronchial asthma. So ito na siyang i, uh, i-summarize. Oh my God, wait sa ha. Okay, ma, ano na po niya ako ang whiteboard. Okay. So unsa ito ang mnemonics, you have D, ayan, D, C-C-C. O, di ba? D-C-C-C. <laughs> okay, tara. I joke. D-C-C, D niya, o, oh, D, dayon, tulo ka C. Alright, so again, Atong usbon, D, C, C, C. So, unsa ganina for bronchial asthma. <laughs> Letter D, you have Dietrich, uh, oh my gosh, wait. Dietrich plugs. First C, you have, um, you have charcoal laden. All right. 
<laughs> Next, you have uh, Kirschman Spirals. And the last C, you have Crayola Bodies. Take note. Again, kinsa ni sila? Mga microscopic structures found in the sputum of patients with asthma. D, C, C, C. Tulo kasi. Dietrich's Plugs. You have charcot laden crystals or pwedeng eosinophils po pwede. All right? And you have Kirschman Spirals. And then lastly, you have Crayola bodies. Take note. Again, on Saturn mnemonics, DCCC. DCCC. All right? Dietrich's plugs, Crayola bodies, Kirschman spirals, and charcot ligand <laughs> crystals. Those are the microscopic structures found in the sputum of patients with asthma. So take note of that. So if ako kuhaan ko yung sputum, I think I have those. All right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, usually, makita ng mga during an asthma attack. Okay? Alright. So, take note of that, dears. Alright? Ayan. So, again, DCCC. DCCO. Charo. Tsaka lang. Next, uh, formed elements um, on sputum microscopy after staining. So, again, ako rang i-ano, dears, ha? Uh, take note, pneumocystis carinii, again, which causes um, your... Uh, your pneumocystis pneumonia, PCP, no? um, which is usually seen in patients, di ba? Uh, mga AIDS patients, again, it reacts with silver stain, no? such as your Grocot's methenamine silver or Gomori's methenamine uh, silver. All right. Next, you have also um, Kirschman spirals, again, as mentioned, asthma. Um, next, you have lipoid or aspiration pneumonia. So careful, mo dears, no? there have been reports of, I don't really reports, pero usara to na akong nabasa na... Um, tigamit siya og ano like chronic user siya og vix no katong haplas no and of course ato mga age karon mga tita and tito na essentials apil lang ginong vix no <laughs> together with the kato ato mga rubs uh, at katong mga pang pang ano pang sani pang pabugnaw and all sa ato mga panuhot charot <laughs> so what happened is na admit siya pneumonia and then paglantaw was uh, na siya lipoid pneumonia. So, as doon niya nakuha, it's from the VIX na sige niyang gi-inhale after pila ka years na uh, because your VIX contains mga fats, no mga lipids. Um, because again, those come from animal yata na mga fats. So, pag-inhale ato, pwede siyang mo-deposit sa lungs and it can cause lipoid pneumonia. Alright? So, Careful mo, alright? Ayaw kayo, ayaw kayo pasubra eh. Okay? <laughs> Inyong paggamit sa inyong mga tita essentials dyan. Alright? Okay. So those are all for sputum. Very short lang. Ang kailangan lang yun nato kaya ka na mga uh, microscopic exam. Alright? Again, for asthma, DCCC and myelin globules. Ang siyang importance, it resembles blastomyces. Alright? Next, for bronchoalveolar lavage. As in, lavage. Ayan. So, lavage, lavage, no? <laughs> Bronchoalveolar lavage, of course, it's um, more deeper na good, no? Um, in the lungs, especially, pwede siya mabot sa alveoli, alright? So, what happens is, musulod o bronchoscope, and then, mus, mu instill siya o saline dito sa, bron sa alveoli, and then, i-aspirate tong fluid na makuha, alright? So, it's usually used for obtaining cellular and microbiological information from the lower respiratory tract. And true enough, this is considered to be the best Okay, take nota. The best specimen for microbiology studies if gikan sa lower respiratory tract. Take note, it's BAL, okay? Bronchoalveolar lavage. And again, as a important, especially important with pneumocystis. Nako, pneumocystis carinii or pneumocystis eruvetsii, which is again uh, common among the AIDS patients and even aspergillus. Because again, these are all opportunistic na mga fungal pathogens. Alright? So again, useful for evaluating immunocompromised patients, interstitial lung disease, and airway diseases. Alright. Okay. Okay. Napaka na ako akong dila. So someone's Talking about me, charot. <laughs> Ilibak na ko, eh, Anyway, for bronchial washings, uh, 20 to 60 milliliters of saline ang i-instill sa imuhang, um, imuhang bronchi and then i-aspirate siya. But ang difference lang is mas towards the um, upper or mas dool-dool na areas of the uh, bronchi ang maano sa bronchial washing. And, and mas, mas daghang cells ang makuha, alright? Kay... Um, uh, ansani, uh, mas intense ang washing na may tabo. Alright? For bal, dito dito siya sa deep, deeper na giyod sa lungs. No? Pwede siya mabot sa alveoli. No? Um, that's why it's a more representative sample of the alveoli. Alright? Uh, kaya pwede siya mabot dito. So, mas distal, mas layo na areas of the bronchi ang pwede makuha sa bal. Ang bronchial washings, it's more on sa proximal lang. Sa, sa proximal areas or sa mga dugo lang. Dili lang sa shallow dapit. Dili sa mga bronchi. Pero kung alveoli na gani, it's the bronchoalveolar lavage. Alright. So, here's an example. Ayan. Bronchoscope. Ayan. Then, mabut sa alveoli. Butangan na niya na og saline. Okay. And then, i-aspirate tong fluid. 
Okay? Ayan. So, that's for Val. Now, again, uh, cell scene lang, of course. Take note, dears. This is my recall sa boards. Sa ako ang boards. No, I think na sa'yo ko. <laughs> I'm not sure lang if ang question kay which of the following is the predominant cell or di ask ang percentage. I think naraan ang duha. I think di ask ato kay which of the uh, what percentage of lymphocytes, I think, can be seen sa bronchoalveolar lavage. And the answer there is 1 to 15 percent. Girl, as in, the ask that's a board of So, akong board exam, ako na, what the F? I did not memorize the percentages. My God, di ba, ganong level. But anyway, take note, pinaka-predominant Japan is the alveolar macrophages. All right? So, take note of that. Next, for lymphocytes, again, 1 to 15 percent. All right? Um, lymphocytes, very important, dears, especially in um, mga immunocompromised states. No, you have to elevate. Uh, you have to measure the CD4, CD8 ratio. Okay, so again, very important. Low CD4, CD8 is of course uh, indicative of HIV infection. Aside from the other diseases, there. Um, alveolar macrophages again. Ex, uh, it's it increases if your patient or katung the katung person kaiting smoke. All right, so cigarette smoking is dangerous for your health. Shout out. Cigarette smoking will increase the number of alveolar macrophages. Also, ang neutrophils elevated in cigarette smokers. Ayan, take note. Uh, bronchopneumonia, toxin exposure, and diffused alveolar <laughs> damage. <laughs> Nag name drop. Okay. Next for eosinophils, of course, asthma. Yes, mga hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, such as aspergillus, and um, eosinophilic uh, pneumonia. No, differential count greater than 25%. Diagnosis, eosinophilic lung disease. And 4 to 17% are the normal cells of your um, bron bronchi bronchi, the ciliated columnar bronchial epithelial cells. All right? Okay. Oh, wag kayong mag-away dyan sa chat. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sige. Ay, nako. Next, you have, of course, um, you have there, ayan. The different cells pa in your bronchoalveolar lavage, you have the mast cell, all right? And increased levels is indicative of hypersensitivity pneumonia, pen, an allergic reaction pa rin. Erythrocytes, of course, alveolar hemorrhage, okay? And uh, fungi, viruses, bacteria, of course, uh, very important there is pneumocystis carinii, all right? And the migrating larva of Strongy and can even toxoplasma gondii, mga intracellular uh, na uh, protozoa. Next, you have Legionella, of course, Cryptococcus neoformans, histoplasma, mycobacterium, mycoplasma, and influenza viruses uh, for the different pathogens. For cytology, of course, uh, this may include observing sulfur granules in cases of actinomycetes infection, uh, during um, alveolar hemorrhage, uh, you detect hemosiderin laden macrophages. You also see fat droplets stained with oil red O. And of course, um, those staining with PAS or oil red O is useful in diagnosing pulmonary alveolar proteinosis or aspiration. And of course, for cytology, we can see the foreign bodies that have been inhaled in cases of pneumoconiosis or asbestos exposure. So in cases na maka-inhale mo mga toxic chemicals, all right? Such as katong, again, the longest, vo longest voice. Ano longest voice? Longest word in the dictionary. English dictionary. Okay? Okay. All right. Hoy, what's happening? Okay, all right. But uh, <clears throat> of course, kita mga those in the health professionals, kita naga kita jud nga kabalo sa unsay wrong, kita po mo buhat. No, like <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, dinan ko magtell. All right. <laughs> Naka-record mo na ini. Anyway, ayan. So last na lang is for sweat. Okay? For sweat, again, it's very, ano lang, short. Um, again, sa sweat, it is usually used for cystic fibrosis. No? Mucovis mucoviscidosis. So for cystic fibro fibrosis, it's really um, an auto... A genetic disorder in which na problema sa muhang glands, especially those that secrete mucus, all right? And it may be associated with pancreatic insufficiency, respiratory distress, and intestinal obstruction. So there is an increase in sodium and chloride because your sweat glands cannot reabsorb uh, them before the sweat is secreted. So you can perform your Gibson and Cook pilocarpine iontophoresis. No? So pilocarpine is a drug that that induces your sweat gland to produce uh, sweat, okay? And for sweat, ato measure ang chloride, and sodium niya na levels, all right? And sodium can be measured using flame photometry or ion exchange electrode, and for chloride, pwede titration. So for values, greater than 70 is diagnostic for cystic fibrosis uh, for both chloride and sodium. And 40 lang uh, is borderline for cystic fibrosis. So again, basin ang question kay, what is the diagnostic value for cystic fibrosis for sweat and chloride? 70, greater than 70. What is the borderline no, for cystic fibrosis? 
it's 40. Okay? Alright, so take note of that. That's for sweat. Basta gani sweat, dears. If ang question kay sweat, mapaklin kem ba or CM, the first thing that should come to mind is cystic fibrosis because it's usually used for that test. And kanang Gibson and Coke, Pilocarpine, ayon to forisis, alam na this. No, press the buzzer agad-agad. Okay? So,